Oh, okay. All right, guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. We are doing back today, and we're kicking it off with one of my favorite supersets to begin with. Again, I've had 50 minutes to drink today, so I'm not going to be taking my time warming up. It's already taken me 15 minutes to get all these sets done. So, start off four supersets back to back here, using the pullover on the floor with the kneeling, way more stable than standing up. And I can maneuver my upper body to get into better positions throughout. Superset it directly then with cable rope crunch strategically, not just for the arms but for the lats as well. Because after doing that full set of complete failure, the only isolation exercise you can do for the lat, and as you can see, it's fully lengthened throughout. So a lot of tension still going through the lat there, as well as I'm actually directly training my abs. So really good superset to start the day off, and now. We've got the actual isolation work, unilateral, taking it in the shortened range with the unilateral pull down. So let's go. Okay, how to choose, um, right, so third exercise in, we're going to do the T-bar row. Now, how to choose whether you perform this exercise for back thickness or back width. What's associated with back width? It's more so the lats. So if we're trying to focus on the lats, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fix my scapula, definitely not allowing it to protract forward. So I'm going to keep it a lot more focused on the lat. I'm going to stay in a fixed position throughout, and I'm not going to do the whole rounding forward. Now, Rounding the upper back is not a bad thing to do, but that's when I would say, if you're focusing more on back thickness, which is, which is associated a lot more with the deeper internal muscles as well as the upper back muscles, so the rhomboids, the lower traps, you're gonna find that by allowing your scapula to actually move, protract and then retract, which is what that movement is gonna allow you to do. Despite being fixed with the lower body, um, or the lower part of your upper body, sorry. That's where you're gonna find you're gonna have a lot more upper back from that. So that's how I would uh, you know, choose on how you perform the movement. So give that a shot and let me know if you feel the difference. Right now, we are going to do four plates, which I haven't done in a very long time, so. <sighs> Good luck, here we go. Yep. Yep. training short to long and I'm, I've just done a back day like give me a break I want to sit down 
I, I don't want to do many reps and I want to just hang there like a bit of a bat and I feel like that's going to give me everything I need. I want to target the left and right anyway. So that's what I'll do. I'll show you now. I literally will do between five to seven reps. Multiple sets, maybe two, three, maybe four sets depending on how I'm feeling. Um, and yeah, I'll just, I'll just hang there for a little bit. Like a good three, two to three seconds in every, every pause of the length of the bridge. I deserve a break. Like, that's what it's all about. So, anyway, gives you juicy pumps. It's worth, it's worth giving a shot if you haven't tried it before. So, this is what I'll do. Usual setup. Jump into the micro. Hand there, but don't do that whole protraction of the scapula. Get yourself tucked in. And then drive down as normal. We pause at the top while still under control of the lat and then drive back down. Nice. Alrighty, because it's all on the lat, after, after the big juicy back sets, you're feeling it already. Yes, this is when your shoulders want the what because they're fried. You've got to keep it going. That's nice, man. Give that a shot if you haven't tried it before. And honestly, you'll be walking up the gym with a serious case of violence. Right, on with the day. I almost forgot you can't walk out of a session without an arm pump, so. We're going to superset again, just to get it easy. So, still finishing up the ball downs. And now, I'm just going to get some juicy rope curls. Nice and simple. But I'm going to continue to put tempo with this because we're not going into a full session. So, I'll just make sure I'm getting a good pump in the connection. Right, I'm going to try and bring more value, like that, but talking first thing in the morning while it's training is difficult, so bear with me, I'm getting used to it, normally just come in and just focus on trying to be alive and get it done, but it's the only time I'm going to be able to get a lot of content pumped up, so we're getting it done. Make sure you subscribe for more, in the days when I'm awake and I'm alive and I'm talking, it's going to be a lot more value driven presentation and stuff like that, so make sure you subscribe if you like that type of stuff. This is just going to be raw in the morning, AM chats with you, morning brain dumps, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, hope you're enjoying it so far. Thank you. We'll see you soon.